Hi, I'm Rob Wallace and I'm here today at Gear for Music to give you a heads up on all the new features on the brand new Nord Electro 6. Okay, so let's just dive in and see what are the new features on the Electro 6. So the first main feature is the fact that now it's truly three-part multi-timbral. What this means is you can play all three sections, organ, piano and sample synth, all at the same time. Another feature that they've taken from the stage three is seamless transition. This is where you can change programs without the sound cutting out. Another feature they've added, which they've taken from the stage three, is split width. So on the Electro 6, you can still split the keyboard into two zones, as before, but now you can adjust the width of the split points. So what this means is you can create crossfades between the two sounds to create nice, uh, gentle transitions between. So here's a program I've created already, and I have a green LED showing me where my split point is, which Nord users are familiar with. So the split point works in the traditional way. However, now I can adjust the split width between off, small, or large. So if I hold this keyboard split button down, it brings me into the keyboard split screen. I can choose width, and now I can change the size to small. And now the LED changes to orange. So now I have a cross fade of half an octave between the two sounds, which means when I play my marimba sound up here, you'll hear the organ sound cross fade in as I get closer to the split point. I can also change the width to large. And now I get a red LED, and this gives me a crossfade of a whole octave. Another feature that they've uh, streamlined here in Electro 6, uh, we've already talked about splitting the keyboard itself, so you can have two zones playing internal sounds in each zone, but you can also split the keyboard so you can control elements of the Nord Electro 6 from an external keyboard, a controlled keyboard, for example. You might want a dual manual organ, or you might want to be playing the synth sound with a controller keyboard whilst using the Electro to play a piano sound. What they've done now to make this easier, they've put a button in here for external keyboard to low. So if I just hold the shift button down and press this button here, I get a red LED, which turns this function on. All this means is that uh, any of the uh, sections assigned to the lower half of the keyboard will be played by an external keyboard. Anything assigned to the upper half will be played by the Nord keyboard. Visually, it's easy to see as well because the on-off buttons have green LEDs for the internal sounds, but if I change it to the lower sound, now I get a red LED. So essentially, I can see here that with a green LED, the Electro 6 will be playing the synth sound, but if I'm playing my external keyboard, that will be playing the piano sound. Electro 6 still features the OLED display that was introduced on the Electro 5. Uh, and this is really useful for giving you all the information about your program, its location, what it's called, and which elements of the keyboard are used in that particular program. It also means that you can view all your program's samples in list view if you want to. If I hold the shift button down and turn the value dial, instantly I'm in list view, and I can see all my programs as a list. Equally, this will work in the piano section for viewing piano samples, or in your sample section for viewing samples. It also gives you some new features here if you're trying to locate sounds. So if I press the numerical button here, this means that I can choose my programs in traditional numerical order. If I press the ABC button, now I can search for programs alphabetically. If I hold the button down, I can choose what letter I know my program starts with, release the button, and now it will just find the programs that, that starts with that letter. Maybe you were looking for a particular type of sound, where well, you can search via category as well. And it's the same idea. If I hold the category button down, I can choose a category, say for example, pad. Now when I release the button, it's grouped all my pad sounds together, which makes it very quick and easy to find the type of sound that you are after. Another new feature on here is the organize function. So if I hold shift down and press the organize button, I'm back in what looks like a list view, but here I can choose program or page. What this is useful for is rearranging your programs or groups of programs into different orders, maybe like set list order, for example. 
So program is an individual program and page is a group of four programs. These might be the four elements of uh, a song that you're playing. And it works just like a computer. You select the program or page that you want, press the select button and that copies it to the clipboard. Then all you need to do is find the location where you want to put it to and then press the paste button or the insert button and it will put it in that location for you. Okay, we'll move on to the uh, organ section now. What's, what's new in the organ section? Well, first of all, you've got still the traditional uh, organs you've had before, the, the B3, the Vox Contenta for Thesa. What I've introduced now is an extra pipe organ. This is a slightly cleaner pipe organ than the one that was featured in there before. You also have uh, the function here, again, streamlining the operation. Sometimes you might want to create like a dual manual organ. You've got a dual organ button now. So if I hold the shift button down and press that, I get a red LED. And if you can see on the screen, I've got two manuals. So I've got my split point. So here's my upper manual. And here's my lower manual. And the draw bars will edit whichever is bold. So here I have the upper manual. If I want to adjust the lower manual, the same button that turns dual organ on says edit lower manual. So if I press that, now the lower manual gets highlighted instead and now the draw bars will control my lower manual. And now I have my dual manual organ. A new feature on the Electro 6 is this function called manual organ. This is really useful when you're playing live that you would maybe adjust in the organ on the fly and you get it to how you want it to be, but then you're going to be changing programs and maybe changing different sounds, but you want to come back to how those organ settings were. What manual organ does when it's switched on by holding the shift button down and pressing the manual organ button, it will instantly jump to whatever the current settings are of the organ, regardless of what program you are currently in. So what this means is you can go from program to program, but every time you want to go back to that particular organ sound, just engage manual organ and instantly it will be back to how you left it before. You can also save programs with manual organ selected, which means when you're going through your set list, when you're coming to a song where you want to just jump straight back to that, as soon as you select the program that's got manual organ selected, it will instantly do that for you. So it's almost like having two organs within the instrument at any one time, which could prove very useful in a live situation. The Electro 6 features the 122B3 tone wheel organ emulation, which is the same organ emulation you get in the Nord C2D organ. The Electro 6 models with the D in the name denote physical draw bars. So the 61 and 73 note versions have the waterfall keybed and the draw bars because they are more aimed at the organ player. The HP version means hammer portable, that has the hammer portable weighted keybed instead and that's aimed more at the piano player who is looking for a portable piano to take around with him. The 61 and 73 note models as well also have the screw holes here under the front panel of the keyboard. And this is for mounting the three position half moon switch. So if you're a traditional organist and you want to operate your Leslie speeds with the lever, then that is an optional extra. Screws in underneath the front panel and there's a dedicated socket on the back for plugging it in. The piano section of the Electro 6 has also had improvements. It has a gig of memory for all your different types of pianos and these are fully expandable by downloading and interchanging with sounds from the Nord Piano Library, all for free. Polyphony has been increased as well. A new feature in the Electro 6, which again has been borrowed from the Stage 3, is having the equaliser in the piano section. This is really useful when you're playing live and either your piano is too bright or you're not cutting through the mix. Rather than using your dedicated uh, EQ section over here, you now have an EQ section of different types of filter within the piano section. So there are three settings which are soft, medium and bright. And as the name suggests, these are the frequencies that these filters will affect. So soft will roll off all the top end to give you a more mellow sound. Mid will boost the mid frequencies and bright will boost the high frequencies. So I'll give you an example of how these sound. So this is without anything. Now with soft, mid, and now bright. So I haven't changed program there. All I've done is change the filter frequencies within the piano section. This is really useful for adjusting your piano sounds on the fly in the middle of a gig, and it still frees up your EQ section over here for affecting other elements of your program.
Another useful feature in the piano section is the ability to change the dynamics of the key bed. You've got a dedicated button here called Keyboard Touch, and this is really useful to change the dynamics of the key bed to suit your playing style. This is particularly useful when you're playing pianos on the waterfall key beds, which aren't weighted like a traditional piano. So whenever you're playing any piano sounds, it's always worth experimenting with the keyboard touch dynamics to find a setting that suits you. And these settings can be stored on a per program basis as well. So moving on to the sample synth section, there have been improvements here as well. The memory has been increased. It's been doubled from 256 meg to 512 meg. Polyphony has also been increased. And as people are getting aware now with the Nord keyboard, all the samples in here are fully expandable and interchangeable. If there's sounds in here you don't like, clean them out. Go to the Nord sound libraries, find stuff you do like and put them in instead. So although this isn't a dedicated synthesizer, basically Electro can play anything in the Nord sample libraries. So anything that isn't an organ or a piano can also be loaded into the sample synth section. It already comes fully loaded with sounds like uh, Mellotrons, Chamberlain, vintage synthesizers, but you can easily put in your own sounds that you want to do as well. And while we're talking about expandability, people might not realise that you can actually load your own samples into the Electro 6 as well. If you've got your own samples in WAV format, you can use Nord's free software called Sample Editor to convert them into the Nord sample format, and then you can load them into the instrument. Now, although the Electro 6 isn't a fully dedicated synthesizer, you do have some fundamental controls over the sound, so it's not just a straight playback engine. For example, you have uh, controls for attack and release and decay as well, so you can shape the way the sound performs. You also have control over dynamics as well. So you have velocity control over your samples. And also you've got a button here, if you hold shift down and switch it on, this will allow you to control how bright the filter is depending on velocity. So you do have a lot of control over your samples. And this is an extra string to the bow of the electro. It isn't just organ and piano. You can load anything else into the sample synth section from the sample library and it's all free. So it's always worth delving in there and seeing what sounds you can load in. So in terms of signal flow, we've covered the organ, piano and sample synth sections. And these lead neatly into the effects section here at the right hand end of the keyboard. The effects section is, is a variety of effects based on different stomp boxes. And it will provide everything from pan, tremolo, flange, phasing, speaker emulation. So this will be your rotary speaker, distortion if you want to dirty up your organ. Then you've got delays with ping pong effect. And then at the end here, you've got your reverb section. Now a new feature they've added into the Electro 6 is adding this bright feature in the reverb section. As the name suggests, this brightens up the reverb. So I'll give you a demonstration. This is the reverb as normal. I'll turn the bright section on now. So this is a nice new feature they've added, subtle, but it can improve the way that your instrument sounds, especially in the live situation. And talking of live situations, we also have the EQ section here at the top. This is really useful. You may make up programs at home and they sound great. You get to the venue and they sound woolly or you need to boost the mid frequencies. Having dedicated EQs on the front panel makes it very easy to shape the sound to suit the environment you're playing in. So I hope that has given you an overview of all the new features on the Nord Electro 6. If you require any more information, then please visit the Gear for Music website. Thanks for watching.